Hey friends, thank you for joining us. This is our new series, Lessons in Love. And this one we're going to, it's a continuation of the one we released last week called um, The Mind of Christ in the Heart of God. And what happened was we got, so, we got so on the trail of the mind of Christ that I really felt like we needed to continue this and let Cameron talk about the heart of God. And basically that last video was Cameron and I were talking about the transference we have had in our marriage, which, which is so fantastic that, and not, not, not to sound prideful, but he felt like I was carrying the mind of Christ a little bit more, and I, felt, and, and, he, and I felt like he was carrying the heart of God a little bit more. And throughout the 15 years of our marriage, we've been transferring those things to each other. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're always working on both of those subjects, and we, we will never have arrived as we continue to get closer to God, which is the best part. So, I'll just do a little reminder of scripture here, and then see what we're going to talk about with Cameron. Um, so, reminder from Romans 12, verse 2, this is from the Passion. Stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how you think. <laughs> this will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. So that's just a little reminder of how we want to cultivate the, the mind of Christ. And the Passion translation is so beautiful. So, But you can study that yourself, and you can find your own way of how you want to start cultivating that in your life, to, to, to have thoughts that would line up more with, with Jesus and God, the Father and the Holy Spirit, then lining up with the world and, and problems and pain and all of that. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the heart of God and see what Cameron has to say about that because I just want to tell you that in our marriage, he has really taught me a lot about that and really changed my life to... Because um, I'm a little bit of a worker bee. And he has... Which I love, the, I love that God made me that way and it, it's good. But I feel like you've taught me so much about really settling more into the heart of God and what that means in my life and how to pursue that and journal. And so let's talk about how you, what, is, what does that even mean to you? I, it's a huge subject, the heart yeah. of God, but you know, I know what you do. I know how you, I know how you cultivate that actually. Yeah. But what, is there, what would you like to say? She's enjoying it now. She no, could do like, oh, good baby. The heart of God. Wish you. I would say our heart is really a place that the Father comes and like rests. Mm. He, he, he has anything he wants, you know, but he does come and rest with us, you know. Like uh, Jesus went to Mary and Martha and rested. And mm. our heart could be a place that the Lord comes himself and rests. And I would say the heart of the Father is the place that we could go and rest. I know? love that. You, you're saying, wow, the Father, the Trinity, Jesus, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, would like for us to be places where they can rest. Yes. We can actually become places where they Yeah. I mean, so, that would be a good, that would mean you, you're really nurturing your relationship with the Lord. Yes. And God. rest, some may say, is he tired that he goes and rests? You know, it's like, it's not that kind of a rest, that you're so tired and you go rest. It's like when you go to your friend's house, you so enjoy it. It's like everything about you is just like at peace. There is nothing between any tension. It's just like, it's, there is rest. The Lord loves to come to our hearts and just that that's the place for him. To me, our, our heart, I know this sounds really poetic, but it's really, it's true. Our heart, it's amazing. Eternity was planted in our heart. Bible said eternity. I love that scripture. You know, planted in our heart. And some people may say, where is the heart? You know, in Old Testament, people used to say, some people say, argue. It's like, come on, I'm talking about the heart of God. But argue anyway, about what? It's like, Old Testament talked about kidney. It wasn't our heart. It's kidney that the Old Testament was. And I, I, my answer always is... I'm a man after God's kidney. I mean, Exactly. No. I mean a woman. What am I? Oh, dear. Sorry. Wait, my rabbit! Answer, my, my... 
Rabbit trail. Okay. My answer is wherever you fall in love, that place, that particular place about you, that you fall in love. I'm talking about that place in you. That you fall in love. Yeah, the Lord loves to come and rest. Mm. And a lot of us, we go and study the Bible that we may know the Word of God. Some of us, we are really good at it. We know the Word of God, right? But the Word of God came out of the heart of God. Mm. I can say something, but if you're not my friend, you don't really understand where that came out of. It just came out of my heart. But to get to know my word, you could read my book. If I wrote a book, we, I wrote one book, you wrote a book. People just can... So to get to know your heart, you, you, have read, to be you, my can friend. The you can read the book. To get to know my heart, you have to come and be my friend. Okay. To get to know my word... You read that book. Yeah, if someone wants to get to know your poetry, they go and read your poetry. But oh, I see. But they are not your friend. But you can still get to know God's heart if you read the Bible. Yes, and there is always. But end. you need to be His. You need to have that friendship. Work it's, on that friendship. It's the friendship, and to me, the Lord cultivates friendship with our hearts. Of course. And we cultivate. A lot of us, we cultivate that friendship with His words, which is Bible, which is wonderful. But there is another deeper way, not higher. I don't mm -hmm. want to say higher that you could cultivate the relationship with his heart. But really what you're saying is we want we want to have we want to have the heart of God and and also what I hear you saying is like God wants us to have his heart so he can rest in his own heart. <laughs> you can say it in a million different ways because But it's really eternal. no if we have his heart we're in union with him the more we cultivate that to get to be in union that's the way the mystics mm. talk they want union with christ and that's where you know your hearts become one mm -hmm. and he will rest in those he wants to rest in those kind of people mm -hmm. of course it makes perfect sense when i mean i feel more rested the closer we get and the more unified we get mm -hmm. and when our when you get married your hearts become one when you have a best friend you can feel it, especially for women. You're right. We can really feel that relationship. Like my, some of my best friends are like, my hearts, our hearts are so connected. You know, it's uh, for women especially, we'll, we'll start the same sentence and say the same thing at the same time mm -hmm. and then laugh really hard. You know, it's, 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 it's a union of hearts. Yes. And this is what we want. Some people may call it soul tie. I, I know it's like, no, sometimes we're not we talking get, about the dysfunctional kind. I'm just kind. talking about like sometimes <laughs> we get so it's like legalistic. I do sometimes that when someone comes and talks about this, all of a sudden we say, "Oh, that's a soul tie." Let's not to go there. Let's no, just keep let's not keeping to go it there. around the heart of God. It's not a soul tie. It's a heart tie. It's your heart. A heart tie. Heart tie. You know. We want heart ties with mm. each other and. Heart First, we want a heart ties with a Trinity. I'm saying Trinity a lot now these days because, first of all, everyone needs to know the Holy Spirit. And second of all, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I got this word a couple years ago in Switzerland mm -hmm. to start praying for the power of the Trinity. You know, we we're praying for the power of the Holy Spirit all the mm -hmm. time. And I, I feel like the union with the Holy Trinity, where our hearts are really knit, then we can have union with each other. That's right. I give you I give you some example about the heart of God. One time, uh, I was in California. We we're going to Steve Maddox Church, you know, in the Houston Church. Well, that was awesome. Yeah, and I was walking around and I was asking the Lord that okay, they asked me to share my testimony. What part of my testimony do you do you, do you want to highlight that I could share? This is what I felt. Father God spoke to my heart, and it was very loud and obvious. This is what I heard. He said. See, the heart of God was talking to me. He said, do you remember your grandmother's kisses? And I Are always, we going to do it? No, he, no that, not that kind of kiss. My grandma used to kiss us like this. Because she would say, don't bend over, you will hurt your back. And she was sitting there, she couldn't get up, and she would kiss us like oh. this. Because she did not want me to bend over. And everybody would say, come on, he could bend over, he's young. That's another story. <laughs> 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 And my, my, the Lord said, this is the father, he said, do you remember your grandmother's kisses? He's talking about my Muslim grandmother. Mm. He's not talking about the Christian grandmother, mm. he's talking about the Muslim grandmother. I said, yes. 
And I saw myself 12 years old when he said it. This is what he said, the heart of God, I would say, said, that was me. That's huge. That God would say to me, was that was me. From Muslim. And, um, and I said, how? He said, I traveled through her kisses to get to you. He said, I, I, everything around you that I could get to you, I traveled through those things to get to you. And I'm like, wow. Every time my Muslim grandmother kissed me, it was Father God kissed me. Come on. This is <laughs> so simple, but that the, the Lord revealed his heart.